Hello, my fellow CS colleagues and industry professionals. I am Sarah B. Cruz from Pretreat CSS, where we're here to educate, motivate, and have some fun when we get our CSS nerd on. Am I right? It is Friday. Boy, I'm very looking. I'm looking very Friday right now. Okay, yeah long day today, but I am so excited to present my first writer's tip to you all. Hooray! So at the end of this presentation, I want to make available to you guys the free workbook and free template on how to create your department's newsletter. Yeah, the crowd rejoices. So I wanna challenge you, and I know I've been talking a lot about how to become an industry writer and why you should be writing. It should be you writing. You have a voice that this industry needs and it adds to the hum and it's not complete without yours in it. You could have something to say that somebody else even next to you or even in another state needed to hear. And even if it's the same thing I'm saying, it may not resonate with people the way that I'm saying it, but if I resonate with you, make it contagious. Continue to spread it. Share your passion to get individuals involved. And if you're burnt out, stuck, and frustrated, I want to challenge you to take a step back and really onboard into your professional development to find outlets that are going to re-engage you. And let's use industry writing as a jump off point. This can be great to reinvigorate purpose back into your professional development. Really move yourself away from this job mentality into career mode. And what does that even mean, career mode? I go, I could talk hours about that, but writer's tip. I am going to screen share the workbook with you all and even the free template. So without further ado, so a department newsletter is a really great way to get the information out there and just have some fun and practice your writing. Newsletters are great because, well, for multiple reasons, but my favorite is that they just are quick little blurps, nice little outlets to get information, um, maybe recognize new team members. A newsletter can literally be anything you want it to be or anything that your department needs, anything that your facility needs. And I think it's also really fun way to see what you look like as a writer, right? So but oh, there's me. <laughs> Sorry, that's weird looking at a picture of yourself. Um, so before we begin, let's look at the things you have to make sure are okay. You have to get the okay from your department manager. You have to check HR compliance and anyone that you're going to talk about in the issue or refer to, you have to get permission from them. You always have to regard HIPAA compliance and distribution limitations. You know, even if you're just going to keep this printed one spot, like it's just one copy and it's in one spot in your department, you have to make sure all of this is okay. But a newsletter is also good for building rapport. So it might be a nice way to include your OR team. I'm just, you know, we're just full of little tips today on this Friday, right? So uh, moving on, I use the workbook to talk about how to find your purpose, how to brainstorm effectively, um, content, picking out your audience, what kind of recognition you want to bring um, with your newsletter, because it's going to create a bit of traction and it might just be something that people read on their 15. It might be something that somebody looks forward to. And it's going to be an outlet of your hard work. And that's what's really important. So you have to make sure it resonates with you and your department's needs or department's needs. Okay. Um, all the workbooks include prompts. Uh, this one is what inspires you to create your newsletter. How can departments benefit from it? I don't want to go too in depth about it just because I really want you guys to download it. Did I mention that it's free? Because it is free, folks. So if you either send me your email and a personal message, um, or you can sign up for the newsletter at www.pretreatcss.com, um, you'll get a free copy of this because I'll have all your emails available and I'll just batch them all out and it'll be yours, including the new the template. So then we go in to talk about how to, I go further to talk about how to figure out who your audience is, um, because that's important. You are not going to be the only one reading it, am I right? But you might be if you don't think about your audience. 
um, list your readers, here's some more prompts. And I know the prompts can be daunting, um, but it's a really nice space to brainstorm. Um, it's important to get all your thoughts out, whether it's through technology. I'm really big, classic, you know, pencil to paper. And um, it gets all the information out in one space so it's not trapped in your head. It gives you the plan that you need to move forward because when things are in your head, it they all go everywhere. Kind of like, you know, me, that's my life. So anyways. Here is, oh, my favorite part is the style and look of your newsletter, uh, what colors to pick, what is the tone of your newsletter. I heard somebody reached out to me and wanted to make a satirical newsletter. I think that's genius. I would, I, I cannot wait. I hope they go through with it. I sent them the workbook early because they reached out to me. Um, do not let perfectionism stop you from putting the finished product out there, okay? I know you're nervous. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to wonder if it's even good enough. Just put it out there. There is always time into in the future to make stylist edits and even just see what it feels like to put something out there. You don't have to represent yourself in the same way as you did in this newsletter in your future newsletters. Um, so don't procrastinate and say you just want it to be perfect. Okay, just do it just do it. It's going to be great. <laughs> I believe in you. Um, here are some more prompts. Um, I talk about how to pick out font and how to grab attention. I really like the fonts. I Google which fonts go together. And it's important to remember that you want it to be consistent and clear, not everything. It's not a goulash. You're not throwing everything in the kitchen, you know, everything in the kitchen sink into the pot. I think I just ruined that phrase, but anyways, you want it to be really streamlined and clear. And here's some really actionable steps. I use Google Docs for all of mine. I am not a representative speak for and paid for by any of these companies, by the way. So you can use any type of tech platform you want, but I use Google Docs because it has such a free form layout. And the first thing I give you a tip on is how to um, delete bring something back that you deleted by accident <laughs> because that's my life. And then please don't forget to save. I have auto save on just because I, I always forget to save. And <laughs> anyways, but I break it down and even how to change your font, how to pick a color, how to insert a text box. It can be that simple. And it doesn't even have to be that involved. If you just want to have your newsletter be a couple of pages of just word typing, maybe a picture here and there or just a border, that's fine too. Okay. But the template you guys are going to get is in a PowerPoint presentation. I did not make it a PDF. So you could literally go in and edit the template. It's not a suggestion. It's not an illusion. It's yours. You, you guys can have that, you know, just change all the pictures and change all the colors that you want, because unless you want everything orange, you know, because I like orange. Right? Okay, moving on. Um, get your information to the team. Don't let imposter syndrome set in have fun. It's so important to have fun. If this is bringing you frustration, take a pause, check out from the situation, figure out what's going on, and then check back in and always fall back on the reason why you did this newsletter and then fall back on your why. Okay. For the love of all things, edit, edit, edit. And if any of my mentors are hearing me say this, see, I have been listening. Okay. Um, check grammar, check spelling, have a colleague proofread it, and then read it out loud because everything sounds really great in our head. And it's just like the brainstorming until we get it out there and we hear our voice saying it. That's how our readers are going to hear it. So it's important to make sure that it makes sense. And, um, I see I'm listening. Anybody knows who helps me with my um, editing in my newsflash articles. I am horrific with spelling. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Shout out to you. <laughs> um, and then here's all the different ways you can get a hold of me. Again, if you sign up for pretreatcss.com, um, I'll send it to you because I'll have all the emails available to me. Or you can just send me a message, but you'll miss out on all the awesome newsletters that have tons of actionable steps just like this in it. Um, I really am excited to show you guys the template. Ooh, it's so, I'm so excited. I know I'm such a nerd, but like I said, the template is editable. It's in a PowerPoint presentation. Ah, here it is. Yay. Okay. 
So you just go ahead and select and then right click and you can change all your stuff. And of course, everything's orange because you know that's me and that's my favorite color. I give you lots of different layouts to play with. Um, here's a page on how to recognize your new team members. Um, here's one to highlight your second article. Um, here's a layout to just add some pictures, another format. It doesn't even have to be this long. I'd rather give you too much than not enough. Uh, this is a really great layout for describing a new process or an instrument. And this is a really fun way to get reps involved with your newsletter, especially if you're an educator. You could put the picture of the instrument here or the new set and then describe how to take it apart, how to process it. You can make it really simple or it can just be a problem set. Like maybe some of the technicians keep forgetting to separate an internal cannula from uh, another piece of instrumentation. Um, and you could break down how to do that and put the pictures right there. Um, here's another picture layout. And the outro is very important, okay? Um, you wanna say thank you to the readers. You wanna encourage contribution. So even though you are hosting the newsletter, it is not your newsletter. It is the department's newsletter. The more you can get people to contribute, one, the less you have to write so that you're offering a platform for other people to practice their industry voice and their writing style and seeing how that sounds. But you also give this, this space for individuals to see you as an, an industry expert, really build your credibility, somebody that wants to promote them professionally. So through promoting yourself professionally and developing yourself professionally, you can offer that to other people, contagious, contagious, right? Really move out of that job mentality and into a career mindset. List your next release date because that's going to create personal accountability, um, which is very important. Um, list how to get a hold of you. Um, again, contribution is important. And if people have questions about maybe that internal cannula and they want to ask, why you have to take it apart, where the IFUs for it. You want to make sure you're easily accessible, right? Okay. Um, I'm really excited to give it to you guys. And again, it's totally free. I am going to offer writing tips like this every other month. I'm going to couple them with my nimble prep articles, which also give you additional tips on how to become an industry writer. I'm going to deactivate my CSS nerd, offer you all this free workbook and template. It was my pleasure to make them. I'd love to give them to you. www.pretreatcss.com um, and subscribe. I can't wait. Bye. Oh, if you're working this weekend, you're the real MVP.